hunted for its meat, its burrows bulldozed, its habitat overgrown with shrubs it cannot eat. The gopher tortoise is now endangered in two states, threatened in three. In a hundred years, its numbers have declined by 80% in the southeastern United States. This ancient creature finds protection on a National Guard base in Mississippi. Telemetry studies have found 60% of tortoise hatchlings in the wild die in the first month. All of the study animals are dead within two years due to predation from many different sources, from snakes to raccoons and other mammals, fire ants, and even red-tailed hawks. When biologists carried out surveys here at Camp Shelby, they found very few juveniles. We're seeing a, plenty of the adult burrows, but it doesn't seem like there's a lot of recruitment of the younger age classes. So that's where this idea came from. What I thought would be interesting to do is to protect them for one year or longer and then release them and see what their survivorship is. This technique is called head starting. When it's used for keystone species like the gopher tortoise, a lot more than tortoises get protected. Their burrow is utilized by over 300 different species, from crickets and beetles to mice and uh, gopher frogs and snakes. So they are a very integral part of this ecosystem. Eggs are collected in the wild and incubated for three months. It can take an entire day for a hatchling to completely emerge. These are hatchlings that hatched out yesterday, and I like to keep them in the incubator until they fully absorb their yolk sac. That's what they've been feeding off of in the egg this whole time. Then they go into the sandbox and begin to eat solid food. Tortoises need open forest to bask in the sun and feed on the smorgasbord of close ground cover that grows in longleaf pine savannas. For millions of years, fire burned off woody undergrowth so these species could grow. But 95% of the longleaf pine was cut down nearly a century ago, replaced with row upon row of fast-growing loblolly and slash pine. And gopher tortoises have nothing to eat. That's why you see them on roadsides, eating crabgrass. When the Head Start class leaves the laboratory, they come here, a one-acre fenced plot with bird netting over the top and hardware cloth buried below to keep predators out and the tortoises in. The ground has been treated for fire ants. The baby tortoises are placed in artificial burrows, but many soon dig their own. A third of them will be released this year, one third next year, and the last third a year after that. The theory is that size does matter. Once the tortoises get bigger, once they are older, they won't be as susceptible to the same types of predators, to the fire ants and the rattlesnakes, things like that. If the experiment works, then head starting could help restore these tortoises to their historic range, from South Carolina to Louisiana. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.